You know, maybe just talk about this defense and, and how you guys have come together. Uh, basically, uh, it's become our defense. Uh, every day we work on becoming more as a team, uh, bonding together. So basically, uh, everybody connecting on one level. I mean, it's, uh, everybody knowing what each other doing. Uh, everybody knowing where we're supposed to be and where everybody fits supposed to be. I know where the safety supposed to be uh, in this play, that play. You know I mean? so. Again, generally speaking, are, are the officials calling the game any differently? Uh, basically, uh, I feel like the officials is uh, making the calls that they see. You know, basically, we got to live by whatever they call and just play football. You know? How much fun is it to, to be on a defense that, that showed so much fire, so much passion, so much aggressiveness? I mean, what's that like to, to play on a defense like that? Exciting. Uh, <clears throat> Saturday, we came out uh, first drive, uh, came out kind of, you know, kind of shaky. But uh, I just feel like it's exciting. I can't even explain the feeling. It's just really exciting to, to know how much better we could be if we just work, uh, put in much more time. As far as Northeastern's offense, what have you seen on tape or film that uh, stands out? Uh, two things you gotta, uh, you gotta be, every week you gotta come out prepared and you gotta come out ready to, com to compete every week, no matter who you play. So looking at Northeastern, they got great guys, great receivers, uh, quarterback. Uh, I seen number three on film. Uh, Great kid, uh, great kid, uh, real athletic. So uh, we're looking for the read zone type offense, quarterback option type stuff. What's he do? How would you describe him as a player at quarterback? More like a running back, real uh, running back at a quarterback. <clears throat> what about the uh, the pace of the game that they'll try to set, as as coach indicated? Uh, how do you guys plan or hope to handle that? Pace. Basically, we, we're trying to get out. We're trying to blitz and come at, come out uh, from every angle of the field. On defense, when somebody makes a big play, Savage came up with a sack, stripped the ball, recovered the fumble. Big plays like that. That's something that you guys feed off of, you know, one another, and it makes you want to make a big play. Or I mean, how's that work defensively? Basically, if, if anybody makes a play, uh, we uh, celebrate together. That. Ignites a fire in the, in the defense, then when he makes a play, he tell me, "Hey, you ain't where you at? Are you, will you be there?" That's the question uh, Mike Savage always has for the defense. The question is, "Will you be there? Will you beat me there?" Is the question. You know, it's the question he always asks me. So it just ignites a fire in the, in the whole defense when somebody makes a play. You and Taylor and Ken Neem kind of. Working together for the first time this season, how have you guys how have you progressed? How do you feel that the, the three linebackers? Are, are um, I feel from since well spring camp. I mean, I feel that we're we're getting better as the uh, season goes on. Uh, the more we play together, or the, the more we bond on and off the field, I think the better we'll be. Coach said that uh, you guys had a big advantage this week because you're going against that offense, your offense, which also runs that no huddle and very stuff. Do you really think that's going to help you guys this week? Yeah, uh, because uh, uh, when disguising our blitzes, it uh, give us more time. You know what I mean? Uh, they try to get us to show our blitz so they can read our plays. So uh, it's the same thing our offense does against other uh, defenses.